As soon as I spoke to Charlie Cowell, it was oblivious to me that something had to be done. Which is why I interrupted the program when I did. Rest assured, this snake in our bosom would have been misapprehended by this time. Yes. And always remember, fellow River Citizens, I can only remind you that I did everything in my power to prevent this dire happening from uh, happening. What have you done to get our money back? That professor collected nearly $300 for uniforms just last night. You haven't seen any uniforms yet. He's slippery, I told you. I haven't seen my boy since just after supper. He's a kidnapper. Fine situation here. Virtue has triumphed. The sword of retribution has cut down Professor Harold Hill. And if there are those, as I have heard, who are melting tar and collecting feathers, I will not say them nay. Well, I think there ought to be some of you who could forget our everlasting Iowa stubborn chip on the shoulder arrogance long enough to remember River City before Harold Hill arrived. Do you remember? Well, do you? Surely some of you ought to be grateful to him for what he has brought to River City. And if so, I should think you would want to admit it. You're wasting a great deal of time here. If there's a person in this hall who doesn't think this man Hill should be tarred and feathered, let him stand up. Sit down. And the rest of you, standing there like a coat of Shropshire sheep. Have you people forgotten how you bought expensive uniforms, technical instruction books, and high-priced band instruments? Have you forgotten the clear understanding and warranty that your children would be taught to play in a band? Well, where's the band? Where's the band? Think, men. Think. One, two. That's my Barney. That too was my Barney. Just look at him. He's so He's wonderful. Thank you. Linus, play to me, son. Play to me. Said he's clarionet. Davy, my, my Davy. That's my Garrett. Winthrop. <laughs> 